Welcome back and welcome to Houdini. This is an exciting series and we're starting lesson one today. So if this is your first time ever opening up Houdini, I encourage you to either follow along or follow and refresh with the beginner series videos on this channel to get a basic understanding of what Houdini is as a software, how to work, how to move these panels around, and really those two videos and then optionally the third fire video would be all the prerequisites you would need in order to actually follow along today with these 20 videos. So an introduction to this beginner series, our goal, actually I'm gonna rearrange the workspace here a little bit to show you kind of the renders and then jump straight into our first lesson. So if you remember this from lesson one and then the following lessons, these panels can be moved and rearranged with these arrows and then the dragging sections in the middle if you're curious on how to set up the actual workspace, this is the one we did in the first lesson, actually. So I'm not gonna cover everything, but I will kind of assume you know either a little bit about Houdini or what we've covered in those lessons. So if you're confused already, then I'd recommend going back and starting with those videos to get an understanding of where we are now. And then this course, this mini series is a sample project kind of implementing everything we've learned so far so here on the right are a few sample renders of the environment we're going to be creating this is a full workflow so everything is created from scratch in houdini except the materials which are included actually in the project files those are from uh, texture haven and i believe it's called polyhaven now right here, Texture Haven and Polyhaven, but those are great resources for free textures if you wanna continue the series as well with any of your, your new textures. But essentially in this course outline, we're gonna cover a few things, but the main thing is gonna be you walking away with understanding how a basic environment is put together and then the basics of actually how procedural setups are applied to more typical workflows so full environments and kind of how different parts of an environment can work together. So scattering of rocks, maybe around houses and kind of how each different component of Houdini plays with itself and allows you to create these new uh, setups that are all dependent on each other. So we'll explore different approaches to common problems in production, such as placing assets, rearranging assets, where in Houdini we would work, and then knowing how to actually create a whole scene from scratch. So you could extend this and by the end of this series, hopefully actually be able to create the environment we see here 100% by yourself without following along. So that's partially the goal of this video or this, this series, excuse me. We'll also cover and understand how to organize and set up the ways the files or the setups work with each other. So where to build the house, where to model that in Houdini, where to import that into our layout, where to edit that, bring it back into the geometry context if we want to either make changes or extend the scene based on the position of a certain object or two. So in this video, in this series, which you can see here is the lesson structure, we're gonna cover pretty much every topic you need for a generalist workflow. So we'll do modeling materials, layout, set dressing, which would be the props, cameras, animation, rendering, even some compositing. And then ideally you'd have enough knowledge to either create your own scenes, extend these, maybe take these models, which you're also actually welcome and free to use for either paid projects or personal learning projects. But you could extend this to a full city, um, maybe add desert cactuses or other plants to kind of use this as a starting a starting a kind of a base scene for maybe applying some new things that you're learning into the context of a bigger shot. So by the end of the course, you'll know how to organize the full environment, create infinite props, which I'll actually be doing a lot. So randomizing and setting up procedural rules for the props, how to create one prop to a hundred, a thousand props. And then also, a key thing we're going to be looking at is trying to find a balance between art directed techniques for proceduralism and then 
fully procedural techniques. So that'll be actually lesson two. We'll do a little introduction into the difference between those and why you would choose one over the other. But we'll also extend on how to take a single shot created in one environment and maybe duplicate the shot or add a second camera or maybe do shot variations where there's camera shake on one of the versions and maybe not on the other. So kind of how to take one scene and then build out a whole series of shots within that one scene. So the structure of this lesson is going to be broken down. Currently, it's so far going to be 20 videos. There is a slight plan on potentially having some bonus videos. So definitely stay tuned and subscribe for those videos. And then in order to follow along, I'd recommend going in this correct order. But bonus lessons, you can approach however you'd want once they are released. And then you can jump back and forth between videos as you see fit. So we're going to break down kind of the intro, a bunch of modeling actually, layout, we're going to do lighting, materials, and then really everything here. And then this again on the right is a few sample renders of what our scene looks like. So not the most complex environment, but it's definitely a good setup for beginners and even if you want a refresher on a workflow for environments. Awesome. So that's going to end lesson one. And then in the next video, we're going to jump into a little bit about the proceduralism approaches that we're actually going to take for the environment. So see you in the next one.